Hi guys, I'm Ronnie Saha and welcome to It's Cards Art and I'm going to teach you a new move which is really a basic move in cardistry world and you can use anywhere you want it doesn't matter that you are a cardist or you follow cardist you're eager to learn cardistry moves this is just a simple move which you can use anywhere and with any deck of cards it just need to be in a proper condition it doesn't matter if it is a plastic card or it is a paper plastic coated card or it's a it's a standard bicycle deck it doesn't matter about the deck but it needs to be in a proper condition and the cards need to be smooth that means the card should not be too old to make a fan now the fan is a really cool move to display every cards in your deck and in, in a proper way and in a beautiful way which will catch the eyes as well as I will teach you a closer tool uh, which you can use with one hand or you can use with two and I will show you both the ways and the fan is, uh, is a move which has a lot of variations a lot of ways to do a fan there are many move many ways to do a fan uh, the move the way that I use now to make a fan is real is the best way to make a thumb fan and I'm going to teach you the one way the most basic way to make a fan and the, this is the thumb fan even the thumb fan has two or three ways to make it the way that I do now to make a thumb fan is the best way that I've learned and I will show you too that uh, the way that I used at first when I was starting cardistry it is too a good looking fan but but the way I do now is more eye catching and the mo I'm more beautiful. So get your smooth deck ready and let's get into the tutorial. And I have a surprise announcement for you guys who are supporting me throughout the way. So stick to the last part of the video to know about that. So here is the tutorial of how to do a thumb fan very easily. So that's how the thumb fan looks. You can clearly see so I'm going to teach you the first technique which I use in this way the fan looks really small so that's how the fan looks what I when I started basically that was that was the look as you can see the outer circle is really large here and it seems okay but it doesn't seem beautiful like the way that I do now this looks more perfect the outer circle is not even present here as you can see and the inner circle is bigger here the inner circle isn't even present uh, that's what the difference is between those, these two fans now you can do anyone you like I'm gonna teach you both of the fans so let's start so to do the fan what I did before I call it the pinky fan the pinky and thumb fan whatever it sounds good to you so so at first you have to hold the hold the deck in the beetle's foot which I taught you before I'm not going to teach you again but just show this ring finger in the corner middle finger inside of that and the thumb in the lower side place the bottom left corner of the deck right in the corner of your pinky right here now as you placed the deck in the, in the bottom of the pinky you have to turn the deck around and place it at the fleshy part of your hand now this is similar to every move if you are right handed then you should do the fan in the left in the left hand and if you are left handed then vice versa when you hold the fan you have to look closely you have the pinky finger in the in the bottom left corner after that you have to place your other fingers diagonally to the deck so as you do if you are starting if you are just beginning to make a fan if you haven't tried it before then I advise you to, to make the cards curve like this to the way that you are doing the fan it means if you are doing the fan right in the clockwise direction you have to weave the cards a little bit in the same direction after that you hold it pinky finger in the corner and every finger is gripping the cards very tightly now you have to place the thumb at the middle part of the cards and you won't slide the bottom part of the card you have to slide from the middle part 
to the upper part of the cards so the cards will fan really easily now you have to do the move really fast really quick otherwise you have different gaps in different cards like here it's a pretty fan if you do it with more speed then you will get a better fan like this so as you can clearly see hold the deck in the middle grip place the deck in the bottom of the pinky turn the deck around and place the upper part in the, in the fleshy part of your hand curve the deck a little bit to the right corner move your thumb from the middle part of the upper, to the upper part of your deck and you will get a beautiful fan now because I'm using a bicycle deck you should grab a bicycle deck which is used for one or two weeks so it will get soft the edges of bicycle deck are really very uh, badly finished so they don't fan when the deck is new at least I can't fan in a proper way when the deck is new so get the deck a little bit used to one or two weeks after that you do the deck otherwise you can do it with plastic cards or uh, plastic coated cards any cards you can you can do with any deck you want you just have to make sure that the deck is perfect in perfect condition now the second process which I use now to make a fan now the same way at the beginning you have to hold the cards in the middle grip now instead of placing your the deck in the bottom of the pinky you have to, you have to grip the deck like this as you can clearly see you have to hold in the long edge of the index finger right here you have to place the, mid, the lower part of the deck in the fleshy part of your hand and after that you have to turn it a little bit in the left side so that you can do a test a better fan with this deck so I'm going to show you again hold the deck in barrel grip make sure you are grabbing the cards right here a little bit aside from the bottom of your middle finger and the index finger in the top corner now you have to what you have to do is the similar if you are beginning make sure that the decks a little bit moved in the left side in the right side and you will have a place to hold the thumb here after that make the fan from the middle part of the deck and place your thumb slowly to the upper part of the deck that's that's how you get the whole deck fan really proper way and again if you do it in the fast way you will get the best fan possible I advise you when you whenever you are beginning to make the fan just just squeeze the deck make sure the clouds the cards are not bumping around from right here they are all perfectly square so after that again move your thumb and that's how slowly you will get experience in making fan and you can do when you gain experience you can do fans with the square deck that's how I do a thumb, thumb fan hold the deck in middle grip grab the cards with your thumb and index and middle finger after that move your finger right by placing right from the middle part right here and slowly make place your thumb to the upper side I'm going to show you again now the closer I'm going to show you the closer that I use in both of the fans where it doesn't matter if you are doing it with the pinky or uh, middle finger it just matters to properly use the gravity now when you make the fan you will have your other fingers than the thumb the index middle ring and pinky in this position and in this position you will be able to curl your index finger really easily and after curling it you have to I'm going to show you from here you have to close the deck by curling the index finger from right here and after you close the deck till, the, till here you have to use the gravity to make sure the other cards fall in your hand I'm going to show you again right like this 
exactly like this so uh, this was the one handed closer it looks more cooler than the two handed closer I mean you have to use the other hand I really recommend the one handed closer and fan and that's how the closer looks cool but you can close the cards at the beginning by placing your thumb in the upper side of the deck and close it like this it's very really easy so I, pref so I recommend the first technique to close the cards because it looks really more cooler than the second so grab the deck of cards and practice it so as you guys know who watch my every video I had organized a giveaway which I was supposed to give away two bicycle standard decks if my channel gains thousand subscribers within the month of July now technically it's not possible for a beginner youtuber and if he is not even famous like me but I had a plan so that plan won't happen in this month that will happen in the next month so I'm reducing the subscriber limit and I'm fixing it to 340 subscribers within the month of July now I'm on 183 so you just have to put 157 subscribers in these three weeks in these four weeks I will announce the giveaway now on July 5th so you have time till July 4th so you have a lot of time share these videos to your friends and get my channel to 340 subscribers and I'll be really happy to give away two deck of cards to you people and goodbye till the next video